Hello, my darlings. It's so good to see you. I have just received a new book from the library, and we're going to read it together right now. So get comfortable. It's time for... Once upon a time with Beatrice Butterworth. Our story today, my dears, is the Hello Goodbye Window, a Caldecott medal winner. It was written by Morton Joster and illustrated by Chris Roshka. You know, my grandchildren have a Hello Goodbye Window, my dears, and it's so wonderful. Do you have one? Let's read along if you have it. We're going to see what this Hello Goodbye window is all about. Nana and Poppy live in a big house in the middle of town. There's a brick path that goes to the back porch. But before you get there, you pass right by the kitchen window. That's the Hello Goodbye window. It looks like a regular window, but it's not. I love the illustrations, don't you, my dears? The kitchen is where Nana and Poppy are most of the time. So you can climb up on the flower barrel and tap on the window, then duck down and they won't know who did it. Or you can press your face against the glass and frighten them. If they're not in the kitchen, you can't do any of those things and you have to wait until next time. If they see you first, they wave and make silly faces, and sometimes Nana peekaboos me, peekaboo, <laughs> and makes me laugh. So I get a lot of extra fun in hellos before I even get inside. Just look at the kitchen. It's so big. It has a table you can color on and lots of drawers to take stuff out of and play with. But you can't touch anything under the sink. You could get very sick. The shelves full of glass jars with lots of everything in them. A step stool so I can wash my hands. And all kinds of pictures from the olden days. Nana says she even used to give me a bath in the sink when I was little. Really? Have you ever had a bath in the sink when you were little? <laughs> Ask your mummy, it might have been fun. Sometimes Poppy plays his harmonica for me. He can only play one song. Oh, Susanna. It rained all day the night I left. The weather was so dry. The sun so hot I froze myself. Susanna, don't you cry. Oh, Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me. For I come from Alabama with my banjo on my knee. He, he. But he can play it a lot of different ways. He can play it slow or fast, or he can play it sitting down or standing up. He says he can even play it and drink a glass of water at the same time. But I've never seen him do that. When I stay over, we have our supper in the kitchen too. And when it's dark outside, we can look at our reflections in the window. It works just like a mirror, except it's not in the bathroom. And it looks like we're outside looking in. Poppy says, What are you doing out there? You come right in and have your dinner. And I say, But I'm here with you, Poppy. And then he looks at me in his funny way. Just before I go up to bed, Nana turns off all the lights and we stand by the window and say goodnight to the stars. Do you know how many stars there are? Neither do I, but she knows them all. In the morning, the first place we go is back to the kitchen, and there's the window waiting for us. You can look out and say good morning to the garden, or see if it's going to be rain or be nice. And you can see if the dog next door is doing stuff in Nana's flower beds. She hates that. Sometimes Poppy says in a real loud voice, Hello, world! What have you got for us today? Nobody ever answers, but he doesn't care. Poppy makes breakfast. He says it's his specialty. My favorite is oatmeal with bananas and raisins that you can't see because he hides them 
down inside. <laughs> I find them all. Oh, I love re oatmeal with bananas and raisins, my darlings. It's a wonderful breakfast. Yes, delicious. Mm. When I get to rest, I help Nana in the garden. It's a very nice garden. But there's a tiger who lives behind the big bush in the back, so I don't ever go there. I ride my bike, too. Not in the street, please. Or collect sticks and acorns. Not in the house, please. Or just kick my ball around. Sometimes when it's hot, Poppy chases me with the hose and I yell, Oh, stop it, Poppy! Oh, stop it, Poppy! <laughs> when he does, I ask him to do it again. <laughs> Nana just shakes her head. When I get tired, I come in and take my nap. And nothing happens until I get up. Then sometimes I just sit by the hello goodbye window and watch. Nana says it's a magic window and anybody can come along when you least expect it. Tyrannosaurus Rex! He's extinct so he doesn't come around much. The pizza delivery guy! Pepperoni and cheese. He knows that is my favourite. The Queen of England. Nana's English, you know. So the Queen likes to come for tea. They all could come. And a lot more if they want. And if they do, I'll see them first. Mommy and Daddy pick me up after work. I'm glad, because I know we're going home. But it makes me sad too, because I have to leave Nana and Poppy. You can be happy and sad at the same time, you know. It just happens that way sometimes. When we leave, we always stop at the window to blow kisses goodbye. When you look from outside, Nana and Poppy's house has lots of windows. But there's only one hello goodbye window and it's right where you need it. When I get my own house someday, I'm going to have a special hello goodbye window too. By that time, I might be a Nana myself. I don't know who the Poppy will be, but I hope he can play the harmonica. The end. My darlings, if you enjoyed this story, please press the red button underneath my video to subscribe. This will make it easy for you to come back and read along with me.